Hace 20 años, los líderes de Canadá, Estados Unidos y México firmaron el Tratado de Libre Comercio de América del Norte. Mediante este convenio, nuestras economías se unieron y se creó la zona de libre comercio más grande del mundo. El tratado incluyó un convenio paralelo sobre el medio ambiente, el Acuerdo de Cooperación Ambiental de América del Norte, por el que se creó la Comisión para la Cooperación Ambiental, CCA. Esta comisión ha permitido dar un giro a la forma en que los países de la región trabajamos para proteger nuestro medio ambiente compartido. El valor de, de esta cooperación trinacional es mucho, porque eh, los pastizales, eh, la ganadería y la gente que depende de, de estos recursos no, no tiene frontera. Eh, los pastizales van de un país a otro y no saben si ya están en México o en Estados Unidos o en Canadá. Since 1994, the CEC has served as a forum for research, public dialogue, community outreach, and cooperative environmental work between our three nations. By working together and focusing on the growing threat of climate change, we've raised awareness of environmental issues that affect all of our citizens. We've highlighted the challenges we face and we've outlined solutions. It's important that Canada, Mexico, and the United States have a set of common guidelines that they can follow so that we have a consistency of approach and also that we, so that we can highlight and deal with transboundary issues. Some species have very long migration routes, for instance, whether as adults or juveniles, and we want to make sure that we protect and, and highlight uh, all aspects of their um, life history stages that require that attention. But our governments and the CEC secretary cannot do this vital work alone. That is why the Joint Public Advisory Committee was created to serve as a forum for the public to express their concerns and offer advice. Engagement with the public is one of the CEC's greatest strengths. By working with communities throughout the continent, the CEC is working hard to reach out to citizens across the United States, Mexico and Canada. Por medio de esta comisión, los gobiernos de América del Norte nos esforzamos porque los intereses de nuestros ciudadanos, específicamente de quienes viven en las zonas más vulnerables al cambio climático, continúen siendo prioridad absoluta. De hecho, creamos la Alianza de América del Norte para la Acción Comunitaria Ambiental, precisamente con ese propósito, reforzar la resiliencia de las comunidades y promover proyectos a favor de de la preservación de los ecosistemas en las comunidades más afectadas por el cambio climático. Pollution is not bound by borders. To tackle our continent's environmental challenges, we must work together. The North American approach to greening the supply chain is so very important because those supply chains interact within North America uh, as a whole. Uh, materials move. Uh, from Canada to the United States to Mexico and in all different directions, from the north to south, south to the north. As the links between our three countries grow, the CEC will continue to play a critical role in the conservation, protection, and improvement of our shared environment. Please join us in celebrating 20 years of collaborative environmental protection by taking part in the CEC Council Ministerial Session on July 17th in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories, Canada. If you cannot be there in person, take part in a live webcast through www.cec.org or submit your thoughts and comments by Facebook or Twitter. Thank you and congratulations.